Happy Thursday, my world. Happy whenever you'll see this in your world, okay? Bienvenidos a mi canal. Welcome back to my channel, if you know me. Thank you so much for coming back to see, girl. Appreciate you. <laughs> sorry, somebody at the window. Um, if you do not recognize this face right here, my bad. I'm so sorry. My name's Latrice. Nice to meet you. And this right here is Faith by Latrice. Yes, where faith is the muscle we exercise around here. Now, let's get on into it, y'all. No dilly dallying. First things first. Primero. If I sound like this, it's because I was at a concert on Monday. What concert was that, you asked? That was Auntie Yance for her birthday. We celebrated together. <laughs> Number two. So I can tell I don't have the most energy right now, right? That's through the hormones, fatigue, all the things. And they got the nerves that want me to go to work. Anyway, the point. <laughs> How y'all doing? Let me not complain. I got really guys want to complain about. Anyways, um, all right, today. Tema de hoy. Don't quit. Don't quit. Because this whole not um, feeling like going to work when I don't feel good and all, all that is going to tie into this. Because I just saw a post recently, actually, probably yesterday. Yesterday, day before yesterday. That it was a video of a girl. Y'all probably know who it is. Her name is Pretty V. Well, that's her, like, stage name. But she came hot. I mean, I'm talking about came in quick with the video and was yelling. She said, who told you to give up? Who told you to give up and to quit? Who told you that? God got something waiting on you. Jesus. In Galatians 6, 9, it says, Do not be really weary in your well-doing, for in due season you will reap a harvest if you faint not. Hmm? What is that saying? For those of us who don't read the Bible, I understand. That's okay. Let me translate. Um, Basically, don't be worried in your well-doing, right? I know you you feel like you're doing good. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. And you're not seeing, you're not seeing the reward. You're not seeing the fruit of your labor, <laughs> so to speak. You're not seeing anything come from it. But in due season, in due time, you ever planted anything, it takes time. You don't just put the seeds in the dirt, put the water, get a little, put it in the sunlight, and then it's supposed to pop up. No, it takes time for things to happen. With that being said, don't quit. Don't quit. All right, boom, scripture. Uh, Genesis 32, I'm going to read you real quick, 24 to like 26 or whatever. Um, this is Jacob wrestling with God. It says, and Jacob was left alone and a man wrestled with him until the breaking of day. When the man saw that he did not prevail against Jacob, Jacob would not give up. He touched his hip socket and Jacob's hip was put out of joint as he wrestled with him. Then he said, let me go for it. The day has broken. We've been doing this all night. But Jacob said, I will not let you go until you bless me. I'm not letting go until I get what's mine. I'm not giving up until I see what I've been working for. Some of us, we have waited too long. We have fought too long. We have cried too hard. We have been through hell, back, and around, a forward, up and down the slide. For us to give up. All of that you've been through. And you going to just stop now? No. Like PD says, Pastor Derek Sandals, the devil has to pay me. My pain has to pay me. I'm not, we not, I'm not, I'm not giving up. It's not an option. And you can't give up either because that's not an option. Because guess what? Um, in PD's sermon on past, on this past Sunday, this is what he was preaching out of, right? He says this next chapter requires a willingness to not quit. Guess what? Ooh, in his Bible study on yesterday, he was saying with the other pastor, Pastor Dudley, Marcus Dudley, um, paraphrasing, but seldom does life get slower as you get older and things happen maybe you get a new career a new job whatever maybe you get married maybe you get in a relationship you have children it's very seldom that it gets it slows down sometimes you be just you you going like this life is going to keep doing what it's doing but it's because you're ah it's because you're equipped with it the things that come right you may not even feel prepared but that doesn't mean you are not prepared pd said this in another message and i've experienced this Oh, God, I've entered a season where I feel like things have shifted and they happen quick. And I was like, well, God, come on now. What? But it's, I had to make decisions quickly to adjust. I had to adjust. I had to adapt. But guess what? I was able to because I'm ready. My past seasons, I didn't realize it at the time, but they were preparing me for such a time as this. I felt like, wow, do I have to do this now? Does this have to have, like, Yes. I was able to smoothly transition and change my mindset and just be like, you know what? All right, bet. This is what we're doing now. I was ready and didn't realize it. Just because you don't feel ready. Feelings are fleeting. They come and they go. Just because you don't feel ready doesn't mean you aren't ready. God, somebody needs to know that. You are ready. It seemed like all hell is still breaking loose. It seemed like maybe this piece ain't the puzzle. Maybe this ain't the... But you're ready. You ready. 
And for somebody, hell, I ain't breaking loose. You doing well. But maybe you're transitioning into a, vent, a new venture that you're like, oh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. Let me sit up for this. Do me one thing and we're going to be up out of here. Stop doubting yourself. Huh? Because you are that person. You are one of them ones. What? Stop doubting yourself. Playing small is over. You've done the work. You've studied. You're refining your skill. You can do it. You have support. You have people on your side, whether you want to see them or not, whether you know it or not. People believe in you. I believe in you. God believes in you. That's it. Go about your business. Don't quit, okay? See, nadie te ha dicho hoy. Esta día que te estoy hablando a ti mismo. If nobody has told you today, yes, you. I love you. Because listen, life be lifing. But guess what? We're going to prosper regardless. Catch on the flip side. Bye.